This is an extremely easy question that everyone needs to be able to get right and to understand 100%, okay? The SAT asks about this concept a lot. We're given a function, looks maybe a little scary, right? We got a decimal, we got a negative, g of m, what is that? Doesn't matter. Basically, remember, this is a line, right? y equals mx plus b. You should be able to recognize that it kind of fits that format. They've swapped some of the letters, but it's still kind of hitting that same basic formula. Um, now we get the story, right? The given function g models the number of gallons of gasoline that remain from a full gas tank in a car after driving m miles, according to the model, about how many gallons of gasoline are used for each mile. So it's that n part that makes it really clear what we want. It's, it sounds like part of the story, but it's really in code telling me to find the slope of the line. And that's because this sounds like a rate. And rates and slopes are basically the same thing. And most of the time we encounter this, it's going to be written in this, this basic linear equation, y equals mx plus b. And so we need to find the slope. But there are other ways, we've already seen this in this section, there are other ways they can talk about the idea of a constant rate, which is what this is. So we need to be comfortable with the language involved there. Um, and so now hopefully we just know how y equals mx plus b works. Uh, the number that is attached to the variable is the slope. So in this case, our slope is given by the m portion, which in this case is negative 0.05. So that's choice A, and that's it. That's the whole thing. You might be thrown off by the fact that there's a negative in the equation, and then there's no negative in the choice, but that doesn't actually matter. If we think about the story and the way they're asking the question, it's still kind of building a negative in, right? According to the model, about how many gallons of gasoline are used to drive each mile. So that, that used is the negative. Uh, so they're building the negative into the question so that they can remove it from the answer choices. But remember, the story is supposed to tell us how many gallons of gas uh, remain. So the, the, we're losing gas uh, at each second or minute or mile or whatever it is, right? So we're losing gasoline. That's the rate. That's the slope. Uh, and then the, the question is phrasing it in such a way that we're able to lose the negative, but it's still behaving the same way. So that's why we need to have uh, perfect confidence here. It is, you know, maybe middle difficulty in terms of how the SAT thinks of things, but in terms of how I think of things and how you should think of things, this is one of the easiest questions you can see because it's basically just a vocabulary question. There's almost no math involved, and this vocabulary about constant rates and slopes is going to come up multiple times on every SAT, so you have to be prepared to find it very quickly and very confidently.